Jack was um, breached, so he had to be delivered cesarean. And during that time, he had torticollis, and so we had to have physical therapy. He started out struggle after struggle. He had to play just slightly. He had to wear the helmet, and so that kind of set him back initially as far as his mobility. And so he had some motor delays kind of throughout his childhood, and then around two, two and a half, I really noticed some significant speech delays, and then um, just issues with uh, regulating sensory, like the noises, that kind of thing. They seemed to really bother him. Getting the autism diagnosis, and then you know he's got vision issues, so it's just been one thing after another. They ended up screening him and then referring us to St. John's to do the tour. And as soon as we took the tour, I was telling my mother-in-law, like, I think this is going to be a great place. It's very kid-friendly. We started a therapy, I believe, a year ago in December with St. John's, and he's just made tremendous progress throughout that past year. He was deployed for nine months, came back, and um, just the the progress that I saw from being removed that long was just unbelievable. He's He's gone from saying uh, single words, um, it's very a limited vocabulary, to now making you know three, four word sentences within the year. He's able to tell us what he wants, which before I left he couldn't do that. And he's now able to regulate some of those noises that used to have extreme meltdowns where he can now tolerate them. So he's made you know huge gains with the help of St. John's been a, a pleasant surprise seeing his progress.